Hi, this is Shadi, and today it's gonna be Sumo versus Senegalese lamb wrestling. A few months back, I did a Judo versus Senegalese wrestling, and it's literally my most watched video, over a million views. So I figured it's a good idea to pair it up with Sumo since both uh, rely on very little garments to enact their grappling or apply their grappling and also they both involve some type of striking it's limited but still uh, it is very effective and it gets the win very often so first let's start with the comparison of the striking um, in lamb wrestling the striking is a little bit more free you can actually use a closed fist this is as you are seeing here this is what a street fight looks like uh, from what i've seen growing up a street fight always looks like this two guys swinging you can get away with an uppercut you can get away with a haymaker a straight jab uh, a closed fist to the face obviously not the groin and no kicking is allowed but as you can see the striking is somewhat more uh, free here's a very nasty uh, hook punch so you can actually box but to the face and to the upper body and not so much to the groin or kicking um, but when it comes to sumo it's a bit more of a gray area sumo is more considered of like shoving more than striking uh, tsukitaoshi which is like a like an open palm uh, thrust to the face and to the neck uh, and also you have nadao they can be very effective um, here you can see that in sumo you are not allowed to flare out your arm to the side your elbow should not go outside of your torso um, Hakuho here got away with it because his forearm was actually close to his chest here is your tsukitaoshi it is a I would say a fight starter correct me if I'm wrong but both charge and they start to apply uh, thrusting and pushing and shoving in order to a get someone to the ground or any part of their body to hit the ground besides the sole of the foot so the knee the palm uh, the forearm the elbow anything touches the ground the fight is considered finished or you have to get them out of the doyo this circular ring similar to senegalese wrestling but uh, Senegalese wrestling their space is far bigger so getting someone outside of the area is rarely done um, in sumo uh, here you see he just stepped out of the way hit the ground and he lost um, in Senegalese wrestling you either have to be planted flat on your back or on all fours particularly two elbows and two knees and then you are considered the loser so uh, in sumo it is far more sensitive and it is much more crucial to maintain your composure as you are pushing and shoving and interacting with all this weight and all this force. Here you see this Tsukitaoshi followed by a Nadao, uh, a, a thrust to the throat and Tsukitaoshi uh, just like a open slap, like a jab, but an open palm to the face. Um, it's not so much a closed fist, so uh, it is quote less dangerous but still uh, concussions and brain damage and even death can still happen uh, in sumo recently there was many deaths one that was last year i reported it in my sumo ko videos i'll link it at the end here you can see the elbow which was not flared outside uh, close to the chest caused a ko to the chin now when it comes to throwing uh, Senegalese wrestling can have a far more I would say uh, open expression you can go down on your knees as you are seeing here to shoot up uh, without losing the fight you can also um, here you can see grapple somewhat on the ground without losing the fight and continue with striking because the rules will allow you um, to grapple more because you lose in a very precise way much like the ippon in judo while in sumo if you touch or like in boch if you touch it is finished um, here you can see the bent over posture because they can shoot on the leg they can go down on the knees and then shoot uh, upwards while in sumo you're gonna have to try to maintain a more of a shizen hontai or a upright natural posture because you don't want to be bent over your weight will tilt very easily forward and thus you can easily lose by posting your hand on the ground here you can see the ipponseo the same technique 
uh, but done with a far more upright posture, circling him around and then catching him on the back and throwing him, but more of an upright posture. While in judo, you can do it uh, more freely as well because the Ippon criteria are very specific. The next one is your fireman's carry, the Kata uh, Guruma. Um, it's a very devastating throw. I talked about it just yesterday and um, in sumo it's called Tasukizori, which means the uh, hammer that tolls the bell. Here you can see you can grab the legs and then sacrifice yourself backwards, uh, getting the win essentially. Here you can see when someone charges, uh, you can use their momentum forward and then sacrifice yourself backwards. As you can see here, the smaller wrestler took advantage of the momentum and the charging of the bigger wrestler and then used it to get him on his shoulders and sacrifice himself backwards for a kata guruma. Uh, in judo, obviously with the rule change, there's many expressions to it, but the classical one here, you are using the kuzushi, tsukuri, and kake, unbalancing, positioning, and then executing, relying on the jacket, as you are seeing here, pull, unbalance, position yourself, lift, and then throw. It is a much different approach than someone just absolutely bulldozing you and charging you. Um, the next one here is a defense against a single leg, cupping the lat and finishing it with an inner thigh reap or an uchi mata. Um, uchi mata can be found in so many wrestling styles um, and also sumo included. Of course, here you can see he cups the lat and grabs the wrist like a Georgian grip almost and reaps the inner thigh. Um, in sumo, it is called kake nage, and, it, and it's also a very common throw gr by grabbing the mawashi, overhook, underhook, cupping the lat, grabbing the wrist, and then here you reap the inner thigh and take them down. Uh, in judo, obviously, the jacket plays a huge role for kuzushi, tsukuri, and kake. Um, unbalancing, positioning yourself, and then throwing. Uh, the criteria for judo or the pattern of judo are very well thought out and drawn and thus you can see some very big differences if you're a grappler and you are watching these different grappling styles the jacket obviously plays a huge role so um, if you have anything else to add please let me know down below i'll link my initial uh, Senegalese video so you can know a little bit more about the history and also the different ethnic groups because different ethnic groups can also have different rules and also uh, the tradition and the folklore behind the Senegalese wrestling and I'll also put the sumo KO videos at the end. This was Shadi and as always thank you for listening.